So today we will be seeing about doubly linked list. Last two classes we have seen operations that you can do on singly linked list. So now uh, we will see how doubly linked list is used. So what is a doubly linked list? First of all, it is a type of linked list in which each node is having two pointers. Okay. So in, uh, in singly linked list, you had only one pointer that is next. Each node will be pointing to the uh, its next uh, node. Okay. Here in doubly linked list, you will have two pointers or two links for each node. Okay. So the first link points to the previous node in the list and the second link or uh, the second pointer points to the next node in the list. Okay. So we call this as a uh, two pointers one is previous and uh, another one is uh, next okay so each node is having two pointers okay in singly linked list you had only one pointer here you are having two pointers that is previous and next so if the node is the first node then the previous link is set to null because that's a beginning of your link list so there is no previous so you will be setting that pre uh, first node in the doubly linked list as null and the last node's next pointer will be set it to null so i'll show you the uh, representation of the uh, dll again which is already represented in the first uh, class uh, two links so what is the use of having two links you can traverse in both direction that is backward and forward movement is possible in case of dll whereas in singly linked list you can move only in one direction but yes you have to have an extra memory to store the uh, pointer okay so this is your uh, dll i told you each node okay consider this node which contains value 2 so this node you can see one data part as in singly linked list you can have as many as data part also uh, data part and two pointers one is a previous and another one is next okay as far as this node is considered you can see this node's previous is a first node right so what is the address of first node that is thousand so thousand is stored in the previous pointer and the next next is the next node so next node's address is 3000 and you can see here the first node in the linked list there is no previous node right because this is a first node so here the head dot or the previous part is set to null and the next node points to the next node address that is 2000 and see the last node the last node in the dll the next part is set to null and the previous is pointing to the second last node okay hope this representation is clear you have to focus here each node is having two pointers that is previous and next okay now we will be concentrating on the operations that you can uh, do on link uh, doubly linked list same as a singly linked list insertion at head insertion at any random position and insertion uh, at the tail okay so insertion at head insertion at head what are the pointer reassignments you have to do first of all you have to create a new node right so this is a new node i have named this new node as first okay so the address of this node is 6000 and it contains data value as 10 and the previous and the next part is pointing to null so these steps are shown here that is create a new node so new node is created then the previous uh, first dot previous is set to null first dot data is set to 10 first dot next is set to null now this node has to be linked to the this linked list where is the position to link this node at the beginning right insertion at head so what all things you have to do you have to establish link between this node that is the node containing data 1 and the node containing data 10 
and then head has to point to this node okay they, those are the steps we'll see the step so link the new node to dlr right head dot previous so this previous is not what you have to do because this is going to be the first node this previous has to set to the address of this node that is 6000 where is it available in the name first so you can see head dot previous equal to first so you you have a pointer from this node's previous to this node okay then first dot next this previous is going to be null because this is going to act as the first node so here there is no change for the previous only the next will be pointing to the new first node okay so head then what you have to do head has to be shifted to from this node to this node so you can see head equal to first so these are the operation so head dot previous equal to first so this previous now it is initially it was null now it is changed to the address of first that is 6000 next what you are doing first dot next that is this was initially null this is going to be set to get the address of 1000 okay so that is done so you got this two link okay so this will be the status now head has to be shifted to this node so this is your new head head is equal to first so this will be your final dll after linking uh, the a new node at the head okay so the new link list when you print it will be 10 1 2 3 4 5 clear so what is the time complexity of these operation all are constant time operation you are not traversing the link list right only pointer reassignments you are doing so which is going to take order of one insertion at tail so you are inserting a new node at the tail then you have to include first step as to create a node so creating a node so i named this node as last so last is equal to new dot a new node then last dot previous is equal to null and last dot data is set to 20 last dot next is set to null so now after um, getting the appropriate position in your dll this pointer reassignments you have to perform okay we'll see that now what is the next step we have to reach the last node in the link list right so you have to traverse the link list so reach the end of the dll to link the new node to the existing dll so what is the traversing step this is already explained in the singly linked list concept the same concept of do nothing for loop first you will set temp is equal to head then temp dot next not equal to null until that you will be traversing so here after completing the iterations of this for loop temp will be pointing to the last node in the linked list okay so after execution of for loop this will be the state of dll that is temp was initially pointing to this node the beginning node after executing the for loop temp will be pointing to the last node okay now what you have to do temp dot next has to be set to the newly created node and this last dot previous has to be set to temp right so only then this link will be there okay we'll see that so temp dot next okay initially this was null this is now set to last what is address of last is 7000 and last dot previous which was initially null is now set to temp okay and the next will be uh, null because this is a last node in the link list so you have made two pointer reassignments so that will be the final dll after inserting the new node at the last okay so the newly created link list will be 10 1 2 3 4 5 20 okay now insertion at any position 
okay in a random position so here i am trying to insert a new node after the node containing four okay so this is a position where i am trying to insert a new node that is somewhere in between the two nodes okay so this is a uh, link list that you have a dll you have so first of all i'll create a new node okay so the new node's name is pos uh, so pos dot data is set to 50 next is set to null and previous is set to null okay so again you have to traverse the link list to reach that data uh, node right so here is the link list for temp equal to head temp dot data not equal to 4 mm, temp equal to temp dot next semicolon it is a do nothing loop okay so in this uh, after executing this uh, the temp will be pointing to the node which contains a value 4 okay so this is the result so after executing the for loop temp is now pointing to the node which contains value 4 now what you have to do you have to do the pointer reassignments right this pointer reassignments you have to do after doing the pointer reassignments of nodes will be inserted properly so what is a pointer reassignment here these steps are followed these step numbers are uh, circled in uh, near the arrows okay pause dot previous is equal to temp okay that is this position pause dot previous is equal to temp yes correct because this is a new node that i have to insert after 4 so the previous node for 50 will be this node so this assignment is correct clear now what is the next step step pause dot next that is this this has to point to a node which is after 4 right because i am going to insert a new node between 4 and 5 so next of 4 will be next of 50 also right so what is this pause dot next that is this position pause dot next is equal to temp dot next so I have to point to node number 5 what is the node number 5's address 5000 where is this address available in temp dot next so pause dot next is equal to temp dot next clear to see about these two pointers we have set this link that is from the new node that is pos what is going to be the next node that is this the node containing 5 will be the next node what will be the node previous for this node that is 50 for 50 it is 4 now these two links you have to reassign okay so uh, step number 3 or reassignment number 3 is temp dot next what is temp dot next is 5000 what is this 5000 this node this node's previous temp dot next dot previous is now pointing to this node which has to be pointed to the newly created node only then it will be getting inserted in between okay so temp dot next dot previous so this previous is now pointing to pos position what is next you have to do is temp dot next is is set uh, should be set to pos clear so that will be this link temp dot next is set to this link pos dot previous is set to temp okay then pos dot next is set to temp dot next then temp dot next dot previous is set to pos okay so these are the four uh, reassignment pointer reassignments you have to do for inserting a node between the any two nodes okay so this will be the snapshot of the link uh, the reassignments so temp dot uh, next is you can see the address is 8000 that is the newly created node then pause dot previous is equal to this 4000 
clear then pause dot next is set to this 5000 next temp dot uh, next dot previous is set to pause clear so you can see earlier you had a link between these two nodes now it is uh, it will be 455 clear so this will be the final dll after inserting 50 uh, after 4 you can see the change in the address uh, part for previous and next previous so previous of 50 is 4000 that is 4 and the next of 50 is 5000 that is 5 okay so all the pointer reassignments are done with the help of these steps deletion operation in a w linked list so first operation is deletion of the node from head so hope you remember this linked list w linked list we created uh, just after all the kinds uh, three types of insertion that is insertion at head insertion at uh, the last position and insertion at any random position that was the uh, or this is a result of uh, all the three operations now in this uh, linked list w linked list will perform the uh, deletion operation okay so first uh, first operation is deleting a node from head so what we have done here i have set temp equal to head then once you are deleting this node which one will be the new head this is a new head right so i have to move this head to the next uh, this node right so this assignment that is a line number two head equal to temp dot next will result in the movement of head right head is now assigned or pointing to this node then what you have to do this is now head dot previous this nodes previous is pointing to this first node but we are going to delete this node so this previous has to be set to null so you can see head dot previous is equal to null then temp dot next this link that is this link has to be set to null then delete the temp okay so these are the three uh, these are the operations you have to do here you can see the operations temp now head is pointing to temp dot next next you can see head dot previous is set to null and this is deleted okay so the final uh, uh, w link list after deleting the head node will be this that is the node containing 10 is deleted and this will become the new head node so if this is a new head node this previous has to be set to null okay so these are the pointer reassignments next operation is deleting the last node in the dll so as you know you have to traverse the linked list and reach the last node in the linked list so that you can perform the deletion operation okay so for this temp is equal to head has been reset now your this is your traversal step so temp is equal to head temp dot next not equal to null temp equal to temp dot next and you can see a semicolon that is a do nothing loop so after execution of this the temp will be pointing to the last node in the doubly linked list okay then you have to do the pointer reassignments for deleting this node so what all pointer reassignments you have to do temp dot previous right this is your previous temp dot previous dot next is set to be null right because this is going to act as the last node when this node is deleted so if it is a last node then its next part is to be set to null right so how can i get this next part with the help i have a pointer to the last node so i can reach this address by traversing back you can see temp dot previous that is this 5000 it's next right it's next is 7000 that is this node uh, this node is set to null so that means this link 
is going to be broken next what you are doing is temp dot previous is set to null then delete sorry delete temp okay so these are the steps that you have to do for deleting the last node in the linked list hope i am clear with this step i'll tell you again first you traversed uh, your linked list from head to the last node so i have reached the last node that is temp then i have to do the pointer reassignment so that this links are broken these two links okay so how can you do that this is going to act as the last node when i delete this node right so if this is a last node its next part has to be set to none so that is what done in this step temp dot this is your temp node previous previous will can go to the this node dot next its next is now pointing to 7000 that is this node now this is reset to null so this link is broken then this link that is from temp to the previous node that has to be broken so temp dot previous is also set to null then delete temp so they are the steps so this 7000 is set to null and this is deleted okay so this will be your final uh, w link list after deleting the last node in the list okay so that is done so here uh, the, the deleting any random node uh, try it by yourself i'll be checking it okay so write the logic for deleting node containing data 50 and draw the resultant dll in your notebook okay thank you so with this we have completed the doubly linked list portions also i'll give you a few assignment questions on this portion as well